Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Today we're going to make a manger scene with Mary Joseph and baby Jesus and a few things that I had left over from another project uh, for the base. So hopefully we'll get some people on. I, I am coming on a few minutes early. I do have to get my orders ready and send those out. And I have some things to do around the house. I feel like yesterday all I did was the auction. So um, I didn't get a whole lot done. So hopefully people come on. You'll get notified. <clears throat> I won't start right away. Hey, Christina, how are you doing? Good morning. It's good to see you here. Thank you for coming on. Hey, Miss Deborah, it's good to see you. Hey, Lisa, good morning. How are you? Thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. So, um, let me just show you the things that I'm going to use. I'm going to use one of these Dollar Tree um, stars, and hopefully you have one of those if you pick one up during the season. This was left over from a project that I had. Hey, Miss Debbie, how are you doing? And I'm going to use that as the base of my manger scene. I've got some Excelsior, uh, which is really hard to work with. It's so messy. Hey, Miss Jerry, it's good to see you. I cut out my Mary, my Joseph, and my baby Jesus out of some scrap wood that I had in the garage. Um, the auction went pretty well last night. Um, I didn't sell a few things, and I did post them if anybody's interested in giving a bid um, for those things. Thank you for painting the page, Miss Jerry. And how are you doing, Miss Bonnie? All right, we're also going to use some of this <clears throat> stuff right here for the bottom, but we'll just sporadically put it in between them once we get them glued down. Um, they are pretty light. This is a piece of palette, and these two are from a fence board that I had left over. And I do like the way the gray is, so I'm going to use that just the way it is on the bottom of Baby Jesus. But I will be painting this one, and I'll be painting this one as well. Hey, Michelle, how are you doing? Good morning. So we're going to use that. I'm also going to use a piece of lace that I had. And I'm also going to use um, just a piece of scrap material that I got from a um, thing at, at one of the stores at Five Below. I just cut it apart and this is what came off of it. And I just thought that looked like Joseph's. I don't know what you want to call that thing over his head, so um, I'm going to use it for that. But I thought hers needed to be lace, so that's what we're doing. Michelle, I'm glad you're doing better. <laughs> yeah, this is Beware Sportswear as well. I love cardinals. I love any birds, actually. Y'all know I love hummingbirds, obviously. Um, and so if you do get some from Beware, you can get 15% off by using Hummingbird15 as your code. You like the colors? I wasn't too keen on the green, but that's all it came in, so I couldn't choose. So I just chose it anyway because I like the birds. All right. So we're going to leave this just the way it is because we are going to use that stuff, the little moss, to go in between the people. I'm going to paint this, and then we are going to glue it to the back right here instead of having a big star and having just a piece of wood. So I'm just going to go ahead and use this as the background. So we're going to paint this kind of a goldish yellow. And we'll go ahead and start that. I've got two different. I've got King's Gold and Golden Sunset. Hey, Miss Alice, you like the green? I'm going to try to use the rest of this that's in here. Let's see. Hey, Miss Patty, how are you doing? All right, so I do have some. So let's just see if we can use a little water and just spread it out on here. I'm going to do this side, and we'll worry about doing the rest of it on the back later. Hey, Andrea. It's good to see you. All right, so I'm just taking some water so I can use more or less paint, I should say. Now, this does have a hole in it where it came with a hanger, 
but I'm not going to use that. So we're going to use it at the bottom so you won't even see the hole. But I'm going to go ahead. I like this one because it's a little bit more yellow than the sunset. The golden sunset's more of a gold instead of a yellow. Hey, Miss Tony, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good morning. So we're just going to paint this because you're going to see it on this this side or one of the sides anyway and let's see hoping I can use the rest of this in here it's all the way at the bottom but I always don't want to waste any paint and we can put a little bit of diamond dust on here I don't want to overdo it we can make it look like the star of David in Jerusalem. Boy, this is getting to the end of it, that's for sure. Got a big booger on there. Get rid of that. All right. We'll put a little bit of white on here as well. And that way it'll look a little bit more yellow instead of goldish. Hey, Miss Deborah, how are you doing? I really appreciate everybody who came out last night and supported me with the auction. I was so tired after that. It wears me out to do an auction because you have to get it all prepared and see what the shipping is and everything ahead of time so you can make a price. So it's just, it takes a lot of time. It takes me all day. I'm glad you're doing well. Thank you for coming on. So I'm going to put some white on here. We're also going to put the, the cover that covers baby Jesus in white. And I'm just going to take this and do a little bit on the end and we're going to do it right here on the ends. We want to put a little bit of water. I'm just going to make it look like it's more glowy. See how it does right there? We're going to make it look like it's shining. And we'll do it all the way around even though you're not going to be able to see right here at the edge at the bottom. I'm just making it look like it's glowing and putting a little bit of water on there. These are very thin stars. You could cut this out or do cardboard instead. You could do that. But these are pretty flimsy, I have to say. So they will bend just a little bit, especially if you get a little bit of water on it like I've gotten on there. But I am going to glue it down, so hopefully that's going to straighten up. Got one more side here. And then we'll let it dry. All right, so now it looks like a star, and we're just going to let it dry over here. Sometimes they're just um, flimsy anyway, and they're kind of bent or bowed a little bit. <clears throat> so let me see, we're going to get their faces, and we're going to do the sun-kissed peach color, and I'm going to put a little bit of white so it'll be real pale if I can get it out. There we go. And we're going to paint their faces. We'll leave the back the color that it is. You're not going to be able to see that. I'm just going to do the sides and the front of her head and his head. I'm putting a little bit of white with it. Make it a little bit more skin tone instead of peach. We're going to cover their head up anyway. You won't be able to see any hair. 
So I'm not going to put hair on them. <clears throat> do y'all have any plans today? Does anybody do anything fun? I've got to go to UPS after I get my boxes ready for who won the auction last night. Got to get all that together. All right. So that's the head right there for uh, Mary. And here's Joseph. Like I said, we're not going to give him some hair because we're going to cover that up. So you won't see any hair. You have to work. I'm sorry, Miss Alice. Well, I go back to work tomorrow. So I know what you mean. Work, work, work. It's all it seems we do, isn't it? All right. So there is Joseph. And then we've got baby Jesus. And I like him to go this way, so we're going to do that. On your way to church. Well, that's much more important to go to church. That's for sure. So catch the replay when you want. It's always here. Let's see here. I'm going to go over that with white a little bit. I'm not going to do it right here, but right where it's the body is attached, where the blanket is. We're just going to cover that with white, so it doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. Family crafting day. Daughters and grands come over to eat and craft this afternoon. That sounds like fun. I wish my, my grandbabies would be up here so we could do crafts. But they're not. They're far away. They're in Texas. As y'all know, I went for Thanksgiving. All right, so there is baby Jesus' head. And we're going to go ahead and paint baby Jesus' little blanket. Let me get some more white on here. Let's see here. We're going to get as close as we can. And I'm going to put a little bit of Excelsior on here because I just think it looks more like the stuff that's on the ground, the hay and stuff. It kind of looks more because it's yellow. I'm just going to kind of do it like that. I'm not doing it straight across. Kind of look like he's laying there. Just like that. <clears throat> so we're just going to paint this part. Be gentle right in here. All right. So there's baby Jesus. And I like the way the wood is gray. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And I may end up, I'm going to do the back of this just because I've gone over the edge a little bit. You won't really be able to see this because it's going to be having that star on the back. All right. So I'm going to let it dry right there. And then we're going to paint uh, Mary and Joseph and put their little robes on. 
So I'm gonna use light blue for Mary and use green for Joseph. I like the blue for Mary and it'll look pretty with the lace. Thank you for being here, Miss Nancy. I appreciate it. Y'all, if anybody talks to you that you do not know, do not answer them. Just FYI and I'll take care of it later. So I'm doing the sides. Ouch. Felt like I got a piece of splinter in my finger. So this is just a piece of palette. And I'm just painting her up so she'll look cute. We'll put her a couple of eyes on there. I'm not going to make a face or anything. Just going to look a generic. I'm not going to paint the bottom because I am going to glue that to the bottom of that board. Alright, so there is Mary and I'm just going to let her lay down. And then we're going to do the green, which I've got Kelly green here. It kind of looks like a Christmassy color. So we're going to use that. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> nice big booger. It's got a... Looks gross, don't it? <laughs> There. Maybe I got it all out then. Goodness. I don't want to tell y'all what I think that looks like. <laughs> Alright. We're going to paint him green. Kind of make him look Christmassy. This one's got a knot in it. But I think it gives it character. I like it like that. Alright. I'm getting close up to his neck. Trying to be careful. We want it nice and pretty on the front. It matches me being green. Hold this on the side here. I don't want to get any green in his face. Hopefully he's dry enough. <clears throat> we'll do the sides real quick. And we'll do the other side. Hey, Miss Tony McGee. How are you doing? Got two Miss Tonys on here. All right, now I'm going to take some navy blue. This says two blue from Apple Barrel, but you can use whatever colors that you have. You don't have to use anything specific. I'm going to try to get some out of here. <clears throat> really is at the very bottom, but I only need a little bit. And I may not be able to get it. Let's see if I can just cut into this. Sometimes I do to get just the last little bit. Not real good scissors, but I don't want to use my good fabric scissors. Let's see if there's any. There's not really anything left. Golly. A little bitty bit, maybe. Let's see. 
very little bit. I was going to use a little bit. Hey, Miss Addie, how are you doing? I'm going to put this on the edge here and just put it on the edge of her outfit. I'm going to try to do that. Do the same thing on the other side, just to give her a little dimension. It's hard to see. See if I can just put it on here from this brush. And then we'll do the same thing with the green. We're just leaving that a little bit so it looks a little bit better. And then there's a greener color. I'm going to throw this away. Boy, I'm at the very end of it. And then there is a hunter green. And I'm going to use just a dab. Let me get the blue off. Thank you. From Arkansas. Where are you from in Arkansas? Because I'm in Bartlett, Tennessee, which is right outside of Memphis. Hey, Miss Carol, how are you doing? <laughs> All right, so we're just going to do this on the side. Hopefully, I might have to do a lighter color instead of a darker one. Let's see, because this is Kelly Green is darker than I thought it was. We're just going to go on the edge here. I can tell the difference in person, but you may not be able to tell. See how it's a little bit darker, but not too much. Let's see if we can go around his neck a little bit. And then go over here. I might should have gone lighter instead of darker. Let's see. Make it a little bit thicker. Maybe I can figure it out. Y'all see the difference? Let me see if I can get a little, a little bit lighter. Here's a green. This is Lime Tree by Apple Barrel. Let me see if I can cut into this without cutting myself. Let me just see if I can take it off. It'll just be easier. We'll put a little bit, but not too much of the lighter color. Rogers. Yeah, I want to go up that way again. We went through there, I think, on our way to um, Oklahoma City. I like that area. I'm going to go up there because I want to see some of y'all's little shops and stuff. So I'll have to let you know. You can recommend some places. I want to do that on a weekend, but probably when it gets a little bit nicer weather because it's so cold. All right, let me see here. All right, so there it looks a little bit better, and I might do a little bit in the middle here. We're just going to do it this way, just to give him some dimension. And we don't have very much blue for her, so I'm just gonna leave her the way she is. Yeah, it may be. There was an Italian restaurant there, uh, Cynthia. It was really, really good. And uh, we ate there and it was delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna use a little bit of brown and I'm gonna go around the, the heads a little bit. I don't have my go-to brown, so this is uh, teddy bear brown. I'm going to use a little bit of that just to give them a little bit of something around their face. Put a little bit of water. Hey, Christy. All right, so this works. We're just giving it a little bit of something. And I think I'm going to make him a little beard a little bit.
just so he looks more like Joseph. Okay, so there's Joseph. Thank you, Michelle. I got these from the Turquoise Valentine, Miss Lee. And they match really well to my little shirt. They're little trees. Can you see them? <laughs> if I turn sideways. All right. So y'all need to pop over there and get some if she still has some left. If y'all like them. All right, so there's Miss Mary. That way she's got a little dimension. You're only one and a half hours from Rogers where you live, Miss Tony. Well, we'll be, I'll be going back over there. I don't know if Lindy and uh, Elizabeth uh, will wanna go, but um, I might make a day trip over there sometime. It's a little trek getting over there, but I like it. because I want to see some of the shops. We didn't get to do that. There was one little place we stopped to eat, and then we went to one little, um, like, antique store or whatever, little thrift place. So we want to do some more. All right. Let me put a little bit of the brown around the baby Jesus. So he looks a little bit better. I'm just going to use a little brush for this. And I don't like it like that. So I'm going to take the other brush. Let me see. Might take a little one. And do the edge of this. It's too severe if you don't. What I call float on the baby Jesus. Or on a head like this. If you just. Put a line on there with a little one. I don't like it as much. Now, I do have a little bitty crown, and I think I'm going to put that on Jesus. Alright, so there's baby Jesus. I am going to go on the actual blanket a little bit. Put him a little bit of brown on there. Hopefully, I'll be able to find that little crown because I didn't think about it until I was sitting here. <clears throat> Since he's going to be king, or he is king. And there we go. That way he's outlined a little bit and you can see him a little better. All right. So, the next thing I'm going to do is try to put this on the back of this. While these dry some. Five hours. That's not too bad. Five hours is not bad. I think that's what they said. About five and a half, six. Something like that. And make sure that you get your little hole at the bottom. Now I'm going to use some of this glue gel. That I always use. I'm going to put it right here at the bottom. And we're going to use hot glue as well. And hopefully that will keep it. Let me see how this does. So I know where... Where my glue is going to be. And it doesn't matter. It goes through that hole. So make sure you don't burn yourself. But I'm going to hold it pretty good. I'm going to try to put a little bit more glue right here at the top. The hot glue. And it's going to ooze over just a little bit. Hey, Cynthia. You're not going to be able to see it. We're going to put a little bit of that Spanish moss on there. And we can cover up any glue or whatever. It looks like it's going to be good. And this is thin. So it's easy to glue on. You don't have to do anything as far as putting, you know, drilling it into the wood. I may end up drilling the bottom of these because they're thick enough, I think, to get a screw through there. I'm going to try that if it doesn't do well. 
um, with one of those, then I won't do it anymore. I don't want to split them. And this is, you know, um, just leftover pieces of, of palette and stuff like that. Uh, fence board. All right. I'm going to try to do it sideways. But see how it bows just a little bit for the star? Kind of bows backwards, actually. But it's on there pretty good. I don't think it's going to come off. Um, and it will set up, and then the glue gel will probably hold it a lot better. So just be forewarned for that. All right. I'm going to take a little bit of Excelsior, and we're going to put it on baby Jesus. I don't want to put too much, but I want it to look like he's got the hay coming out from behind him a little bit. So I'm going to put it on there. I'm just going to take a thin thing of the hot glue and just go along the bottom. And we're going to try to just squinch it up just a little bit. And I'll take <clears throat> the scissors. Where are the bad scissors? Hey, Miss Sharon, how are you doing? I'm going to take it, try to get some off of his face so you can still see his face there we go but I like it to stick out the side a little bit because this is cute right I like him we're gonna put eyes on him before we put him on here <clears throat> all right so I've got this and it's gonna dry a little bit so I'm gonna take uh, Joseph this is part of the rug that I got from Five Below that I took apart, and this just happens to be a piece of material. So I'm going to put this over his head, and it does have a seam here because this is just a piece of junk material, so I'm just going to do the best I can to try to cover that. We might can pull up some of it. Let me just see. Let me look to try to get this piece out. I don't know why. That has to be there. But I really don't want the white to show. Gosh, doesn't want to come out very well. Maybe we can't do that. So maybe I'll just try to push, fold the material to, to not show that. So it's gonna be like this. Let me cut part of this off. You gotta get good scissors. The same thing over here. We'll take this big wad off. All right. So it's okay on the back to show that. So we're just going to take a little bit of hot glue and go across his head. Just like this. And down is the top of him a little bit. Every time I get a notification, it does a blink, like a sound over there. Can y'all hear that? <laughs> so I'm going to do a little bit right here. And that way it'll kind of sit down a little bit. And then I want to go a little bit on the sides because I don't want it to just flap anywhere. So I'm going to do it down just a little. And then the rest of it can just hang. All right, so that's the way it looks, even though it's kind of flipped out a little bit. It's supposed to lay flatter. But it's a piece of rug, so yeah, that'll be okay. All right, so we're going to do the same thing with Miss Mary, only we're going to use lace with her. This is the bottom of a piece of curtain, and I thought it would be cute to put that little ruffle trim around her head right there and I tried to cut it at an angle so it would sit a little bit flatter. I want it to go just slightly over her face here and that's, look at how it looks. Isn't it cute? So um, I may have to cut this a little bit, but we'll see. So I'm gonna just do the same thing, put a little bit down her shoulders and 
And I want that to go just slightly over her face. Just like that. And we're going to just do the back of it a little bit. Just to kind of hold it down. Just like that. So there is Mary. And we're going to put her here and Joseph here. I might cut his at an angle. Let me see if I can do this. looks funny. It's too much out. Let me see if I can cut this a little bit. All right. I like hers down a little bit. Oh, this is so cute. All right. And what I was going to draw the eyes on. We're going to do that real quick. So I just want to put a little dab of black on here for the eyes. And then we're going to take the little bitty brush right here. We're going to get a little dot on there. I want it big enough, but not too big. All right. So here is Joseph. And we're going to do Mary, and then we'll do baby Jesus. You want to get enough paint on there that it just kind of flows on here. All right. So here's Mary. And we're going to put her a little bit of blush. Thank you, Miss Janice. We're going to do the baby Jesus just a little bit, little bitty. All right, so here's baby Jesus. I think one of his eyes is bigger than the other. So let me fix it. All right, so there, that's better. <gasps> Thank you for the hearts. Now I'm going to get a little bit of my blush. This is LA Colors from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to dry their eyes because they may drip a little bit. And I don't want that to happen. <clears throat> so let me get just a little bit on there. I'm just going to put it right there for baby Jesus. I can't get that one. It's going into the Excelsior. So we're going to do... Mary. And I'm just taking this and I'm pushing it into the wood and twisting my finger and that's the way it looks. Okay. Thank you, Miss Teresa. I'm going to do the same thing for Joseph. And there's Joseph. I like these. They turned out really cute. Cuter than I thought. All right. So we're going to glue this down. I am going to use some of the glue gel again. And I may try to glue it. I mean, uh, drill into it. So I'm going to take a little bit on either side and then put this a generous amount of the hot glue right in here. So I'm just putting it basically in the middle here. And I'm putting them kind of at an angle. So you can see Joseph right there. You love him? Thank you. All right, so we're going to do the same thing on this one. A little bit of the glue gel on either side. And then we're going to put this in the middle. Hey, Linda Tanner. Yes, ma'am, I cut them out. Just kind of drew them off and cut them out. All right. So I'm just going to hold them for a second. They're not really going to need that much. They're not very heavy. Thank you, Cynthia. All right. So I'm going to put the same thing on here. I'm going to put half and half. Then we're going to put the glue. 
and then we'll put some Excelsior at the bottom or some um, moss, I meant, moss at the bottom. My goodness, how cute is this? <laughs> oh, how cute. All right, so now we're gonna put some of this just cause it looks brown and like the, the ground. And so I'm gonna just sporadically put it in there and we'll put a little bit of glue at the bottom. I'm gonna put it at the, let me see here. Gotta get just a little dab more on baby Jesus cause this is wanting to hang. And we're gonna just put some of this right in here. Just some hot glue around them. And I'm gonna kind of spread it like this. <clears throat> I don't want too much. I'm gonna have to cut some. I want it to all be off of here. And I'll put some behind there because I just feel like it needs a little something. Like that. And I'm going to put some right back here and on the other side as well. But not in between. You love it? Thank you. Alright. So let me just take some. I just want it to look finished. So we're just going to stick some on the inside here. Put a little bit on the side. Jesus is the reason for the season. We celebrate him. And let me try to find that crown. I think I know where it's at. It's on the top over there. So give me just a second and then that'll finish him out. All right, let me cut this off. It's just easier to do it that way. Goodness be, that's a lot. Let's see. All right. Oh, that's so cute. All right. So here they are. Now let me get the crown. Let me put this up real quick so I don't dry my glue out. I use too much of this. I try to go and get a couple of them every time I turn around. Hold on just a second and I'll get the, the crown. So I've got silver and gold and obviously I think I wanna use the gold, right? And these came from Amazon. And they look like little tops. I've got rose gold too, but I think regular gold. But see this little crown. Do you see it? And we're gonna put it on top of baby Jesus. How cute! I don't know where it needs to go. Like right on the top maybe. It's hard to tell. Let me put a little bit of glue right at the middle. Oh my goodness, how cute is that? All right, ready? Ready for the reveal? There he is, isn't he cute? <laughs> oh my goodness, I love him with the crown. Do y'all like this? Give me stars or hearts or whatever. <laughs> Thank you for the stars, whoever gave it. Thank you, Miss Connie. Yes, perfect for the newborn king. So cute. I almost forgot I had these. They come in a little box like this and they come as gold, silver, and um, the rose gold. Thank you so much. I'm glad y'all like this. And this piece of wood came from Pop Shelf and I had cut it because it was like $5 at Pop Shelf and I thought that was pretty good for the big one. Thank you for those stars, Miss Janice, and all the hearts. I appreciate it. But I like the way it turned out. This came from Dollar Tree. 
And I decided not to put the um, diamond dust on there. I think it looks better just plain. Looks more rustic. So I like it like that. But he's really cute. There's the newborn king. <laughs> oh, I love it. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I hope you have a good afternoon today. Yes. Hallelujah to the newborn king. Exactly, Maria. Thank you, Miss Tony. I appreciate it. Thank you for those stars, Maria. I appreciate it. You're always giving me stars. I thank you for that. Um, Wednesday, I'll be back on and we'll do a Santa with a mop beard. And um, hopefully you'll like that. I don't know exactly what I'll do on Friday. We're going to see. I know in January, I want to do a month of birds. Um, so I'll be doing a lot of bird crafts come January. So hopefully you'll enjoy those. You have a good Sunday too. You have a blessed day as well, Miss Cynthia. Thank y'all all for coming. And if you are coming on later and you don't see the live sign, please hashtag replay so I can thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you around 6 to 6.30 on Wednesday because I do work late. Um, and I will be here to do another craft. And we'll do a Santa. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.